In cleaning products kill the germs without the harsh chemicals. Well, you lose the harmful chemicals when you make the switch from old school cleaners, but you may lose some money in the bargain as well. News 18's Holly Campbell joins us now with more on the cost of going green and ways you can pinch a few pennies. Holly. Jeff, Gina, when it comes to cleaning, we found green cleaning products seem to have the same cleaning power. But will those products make you lose some green? News 18 compares the cost of everyday germ killers and their eco-friendly counterparts. As with everything in the natural industry, it typically it tends to be a little more expensive. News 18 took the average cost of five traditional dish soaps. The average cost $2.85. Take away the harsh chemicals and add in natural ingredients, and you have their green cleaning counterparts. Five natural dish soaps averaged at about $3.14. That's about a 30 cent difference. Sunspot Natural Markets' Derek Weaver says the cost difference comes down to how they are made. He says many green cleaning products are made from sustainable resources or by fair trade companies that give back to environmental projects. People aren't just buying a safer product. They're giving back to the communities where these products are made and, you know, giving back to the families that make them. If you want to save a few bucks at the checkout line, you can go with an old school cleaner like ammonia or a traditional drain opener. But Tippecanoe County solid waste specialist Rick Parsons says you better know how to properly dispose of those harsh chemicals. Lots of times when you look at things in the store that are cleaners, you'll see the skull and crossbones or other things on there that, you know, indicate that you should not put that down the drain and it shouldn't, it shouldn't end up in a landfill. It needs to come out to us and we will dispose of that. And when they collect those chemical laced products, you pay for it. Five, six, seven thousand dollars a month is pretty typical for what we're paying to dispose of those HHW items that we collect each month. And again, taxpayers are paying for that through their uh, property tax. That's how we kind of dispose of those kinds of chemicals. The cheapest way to go green and save a few dollars is to make your own. Many things at home that are not so toxic, like vinegar, soda, uh, toothpaste, soaps at home, can be used to clean things, and they're not so poisonous. Vinegar is, is a great cleaner, and you know it can be used in place of bleach to help, you know, clean a tub or things like that, and it's not as toxic. Or even use it in your yard as a uh, weed killer. If you're thinking of switching out your old school household cleaners for eco-friendly germ killers. Weaver says just try one product. You have to find that happy medium and anywhere you can make a switch, you know, I, I challenge people to do so because you'll find that um, you could feel better and you'll probably get the same results in your cleaning. Parsons says it all comes back to the choices you make in the cleaning aisle at the store. It's better for everybody if you're just uh, a better consumer and it helps the environment if you can just be smart with what you buy. Smart decisions like this can really impact the future of you know, what our kids have, um, the future of everything really. Tippecanoe County Solid Waste Facility has a list of green cleaning recipes you can try at home. You can find a link on our website. And if you want to get rid of some of those toxic chemicals in your home, we've got that information there as well. Holly Campbell, News 18.